Hey guys, welcome to this review of the Bizzle Powerfresh 5 Steam Mop. Now I have chosen to get this because my tiles, well, they're quite expansive and it's going to be quite tough for me to get a, a manual mop and go around and change the bucket and then go around and So basically, to cut a long story short, I opted to get this on because the reviews are really good. However, before you get going, you have to, and you have to, vacuum the floor before you get started because it will not suck anything up. This is purely a steam mop. You can get some different mops that will suck and steam at the same time. However, this is not. This is just a mop itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and blitz through my floor, vacuum it, and then we're going to open up the box together. <laughs> Oh yes, that is low power mode. Ooh, and now that that is done, we are ready to unbox this baby. I'm so excited because I have quite a large tile surface area and I really can't imagine just going around with a manual mop, squeezing and then mopping and then squeezing and changing the bucket. So. I'm so happy with this. So this is a beautiful two-year guarantee Brazil Power Fresh 5 steam mop only. It does not vacuum, it just mops, hence why you need to vacuum in advance. I'm going to open up the box and let's take a look and see what is inside. So, like, gloriously, you do have a manual, which we all like to read. And it also comes with two discs. Now, this will become very clear in a moment. You can actually use these inside of the sleeve of the fabric of the mop and it'll give up that beautiful smell so we might use that potentially and you got some beautiful packaging and then we've got the wand oh yes now i've got to say this is quite a narrow wand compared to my dyson v11 this one's actually quite slim line and thin it's very light which is actually quite nice because the dyson v11 is very heavy although this is not a comparison video this is purely just me comparing the heaviness and let's have a little look inside oh hello we've got a little hat for me <laughs> of course, this is the microfiber cloth that goes on the bottom of the mop itself. And what else do we have inside? Ooh. Oh, yes. Here it is, the piece de la resistance. It is the Vizzle mop itself. It has a beautifully long cable. How long is this cable, I hear you asking? I think it is. I will tell you very shortly. Okay, it doesn't actually say. <laughs> It doesn't say. I will measure it and I'll let you guys know. But it's long regardless. Let's pop this on one side and let's see what else there is. So inside here there is, oh, uh, okay. This is cool. This is good. It's, it's, it's a boy. <laughs> so this is actually the head. So the other one is a spare, because we all like spare things. The other one is a spare fabric and this one is the actual head for the Bizzle Power Fresh 5. And whoop, whoa. Butterfingers over here has got the canister. Okay, that is quite a small canister. It's 400 mils of water. Now I have to say, let's see how long this will last me for, but I have a feeling I might need to replace this, but that's okay because I'm not actually cleaning the mop itself. It's not like a manual mop. This is just a pure steam mop. So steam mopping is ultra hygienic. It's supposed to remove about 99% of bacteria. I didn't make that figure up. Just have a look on the internet. It does say that. But the idea is that it's using really hot, hot, hot fluid water just to sterilize and remove any bacteria without the use of detergent. So I really like the idea of that. It kind of feels like a natural way to clean up. So hopefully let's see how it gets on. All right, time to pop it together. We've got the brush. Okay, this is actually quite a nice big brush. I have to say it's quite a large surface area. It comfortably fits at least one and a half of my hands. So that's good. And it does come with a spare microfiber as well, as you saw. And let's just get the actual device. So this is a nice, cute little device. And Let's look inside. It's easy, very easy to carry. And over here, you can see um, the compartment for the water. So it does have, what's nice about it, you can fill this up and then pour it in so that you know how much you're putting in. But let's actually put on the wand. Ooh, there's so much to this thing. It even has like a brush that you can just use straight out like this. So straight out from the box itself, you can use the brush and just go on those tough, tough, tough surfaces. Okay, so let's work out what we do. So let's push this up and remove it. There we go. So we've taken out the brush component. And now I'm going to place on the hand, which is this one over here, like so. And we're going to pop it on, click. And you just have to click it in like this and you hear a lovely click and now it is ready for action on this side of things now over here we need to place on the wand itself 
and I'm just going to assume you just slide it into place until I hear a click. Well, I haven't heard a click, so I'm going to keep pushing it in until I hear a click. Or maybe you don't need to push it in that hard. Let's have a look. All right, let's take a look what we've got. It's fiddly doing it while she's standing up. I have to say, you're better off doing it while she's not standing up. Thank you so much, fine sir. Now it looks like there is a screw here that needs to be screwed in, I would say. Let's find out where that screw is, thank you. Okay, see, my assistant is just so handy, would you not say? All right, so I think there is no screw, but that's okay, I'm just, oh, the screw's here. Here we go, I need a screwdriver. Mr. Handyman, please may I have a screwdriver? Wow, and just like that, the job is done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so now we're almost ready for action. Now you will know that I did say earlier there is a little pocket for you to put your beautifully fresh smelling um, thing that they provide there for you if you want. It, I do believe it just goes underneath here, or if I can show you on this one, it goes underneath here. So just on the bottom, you slide in your disc and it gives you a nice scenty smell. What do you reckon, shall we use it? Yeah, let's use it. Let's see how fresh it actually smells. This is like those in-app purchases where once you've got it once, you're just going to have to buy it over and over again because you're going to like the smell of it and it's going to be inexpensive. It smells quite nice. Yeah, I can see me buying more of these potentially. However, if you want to go for the complete detergent look, you don't have to use this, obviously. So this smells, essentially smells like washing up liquid. It smells nice, very strong. And you just place it underneath here, like so and then clip this back over the top. All right, so now we are almost ready for action. We just have to unclip the cable, plug it in, fill it up with some Vizzle approved formulas. Now, as I said, you can use a formula or you can just use water. They do recommend using distilled water so that your machine doesn't get clogged up. So I'm just gonna untie the cables and I'm gonna ask my beautiful handyman to get me some water filled in this little canister over here. Now this actually is quite a long cable. I do recall on the internet reading it was seven meters long. I will verify and check with you. Let's go up to the top. There we go, ding, wow, and just like that the water is here. And now we're gonna just pull up the top over here and we're gonna pour in our water into the top of the canister like thus. It's pretty cool that they give you a little handy container because I can imagine putting this under the sink might be a bit tricky. Thank you very much. Okay, so now that you're all set up, it's time to get started with the mopping. Now you can choose one of two pads. This one is the ultra scuffy pad, so you have got some really stubborn stains, or you can use the finer scrub pad, which is what I'm using today, because my floor is a little bit dirty, but it's not dirty like it's got mud all over it. So I'm gonna put this to one side, and now I'm gonna plug this in. Really important that you plug this into some grounded electricity, because it is electricity, and you are dealing with water, so just take care with that. So I'm gonna pop that over here. Now, once it's on and plugged in, it should start blinking, which it is over here. I will show you that because it's quite tricky to see. As you can see, it's blinking over here. And once it gets into a solid line, that is when it's ready to be turned on. So I'm gonna wait for it to warm up, pop it on the floor. I'm actually really excited because I've heard that they're really funny. You get to see the steam everywhere. So let's see how much steam is released. You probably do have to go over a couple of times, but I will show you exactly very shortly. Still blinking. Come on, steamer, you can... Okay, cool, so now we have a solid light. We've got a solid light. So literally, the steaming, that, that heat up took like maybe 10 seconds. I don't know how long it took, but it, it was literally under a minute, so 10 seconds. So now that that has happened, you can then turn it on using the power button. Okay, and then you select which type of power you want. So you've got low steam or you've got high steam. I think we should try both just to compare the two. So first up, I'm going to go for low steam, and I'm going to show you guys what that does. So I'm gonna pop it on the floor. And then to activate it, you have to release or press the trigger over here, which is at the top of the handle. So it's a nice place to put your hand. Place your foot on the paddle and just recline it backwards. And let's do a steam with low steam. Let's go backwards so you guys got a good view. And this cable, you do have a cable tidy at the back here. You can tidy it together. I'm gonna to leave it free flowing for now because I do have an area, but here we go. So it's plugging because it's trying to just warm up and get that water going. And that's completely normal when you turn it on for the very first time. So I'm not seeing much happening yet because I think it's, here we go. Wait, something's happening. All right, so I think we're there.
I can't really see an awful lot happening. Maybe I'll just give it a little bit of time. Just to do what it's doing. Here we go. There we go. Okay, look, look, look at the steam. Look at the steam. Oh, yes. That is low power mode. And now we're just going to wipe the floor. Smells nice. And you can see here that there is a spot of dirt just there. And we're going to try and see if it will go away with low power mode. Hey! First time it went. That is actually impressive. I am quietly impressed with you, Mr. Bizzle Steamer. All right, that's good. So let's crank it up a little bit. What do you guys think? Should we go to high steam and see how steam is? Yeah, I think so too. So then we go on to press the high button here. And you can smell that smell of the um, detergent. I have to say it's probably a bit too strong for me. But <coughs> God, some people might like that. I think it's putsy. It's too empowering. Oh, stinks. <laughs> I'm going to open some windows. So this is high steam now. Let's give it some time to warm up. I'm pressing the trigger. There we go, we're getting some steam coming out. I feel like it's gonna go again because it's like continually warming up. Let's see how it happens. So there's a bit more steam coming out with the high steam. So I'd say like the high steam probably offers you maybe about 10% more steam. So I think the low steam is not that bad. What I'm intrigued to find out is what my microfiber cloth looks like on the bottom. How's that looking? Yeah, it's looking all right. Like it's, it's good. It's picking up obviously some dirt. Now I'm going to go over there with my high steam and see how well that will actually remove the dirt. Let's go. So I'm going to give it some time to warm up. Clug, clug, clug. Okay, we're going to do it just with one pass and see if it performs the same as the low steam. I'm just going to give it some time to warm up because I can hear it clugging away. Hey, it did a beautiful job. That was actually awesome. All right, I'm going to do a test now. I'm going to do this one with low steam just to see if it does an equally good job. Oh, but maybe I wasn't in the middle. Let's try again. That was low steam pump mode. There we go. So I'd say definitely high steam might just give you that bit of an extra oomph. Low steam is still pretty good. So if you just need a touch up, I'd definitely go for low steam. But if you've got some stains on the floor, go for high steam. I've got quite a bit of work to do. I'm excited about this. I have to say I'm losing track of which tiles I've done, which ones I haven't done. But I'm going to be methodical about this. I'm going to go in lines because I do have track. So hope you guys found this video useful. And if you are interested, please check out the link in the description below. I'll pop a link into which model I've got because it is a minefield out there which steam mop to get. And I will see you on the next time. Get to work, Mr. Bizzle. Oh, yes, that is low power mode.